Sachin Tendulkar, I think, needs to be viewed uh, in a manner completely different from the way uh, he's been talked about uh, by all and sundry. Cricket is fine. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind that Sachin Tendulkar is the greatest cricketer ever to have played cricket. Head and shoulders above everybody else from the time cricket has been played. I mean, I'm very clear about that. But look at the impact he has made on 1.2 billion Indians. And it's therefore not for nothing that the government of India yesterday announced the Bharat Ratna for him. Look at the impact he's had on 1.2 billion Indians. And that's what I'd really like to talk about. Um, as I keep saying in many of my speeches, India has been tragically bereft of leadership throughout its history at crucial points in its evolution. For some strange reason, leadership has forsaken this great land. And that I think is because we have paid a lot of lip service to immortal, time-tested values and principles. But we have neglected to live those values and principles. So even though the sages have been teaching us, the ancient Indian or Hindu spiritual ethos is all about values and principles and humility and honesty and integrity and softness and serenity. We have taken all those teachings and gone exactly in the opposite direction. So, Sachin Tendulkar really is an embodiment of all that is good and great in, in, in mankind. I would not like to say that he belongs just to this country. All that is good and great in mankind is what he embodies. And so, if you want to look at Sachin Tendulkar and, and what he's achieved, the overriding lesson that you can get is that if you live in this particular way, this is what you will get. So, if you lived your life chasing excellence, without compromising on either excellence or on honesty, integrity and values, sportsmanship, humility, um, gratitude, respect for everybody, irrespective of big, small, old, young, respect for what the game stands for, uh, patriotism, concern for fellow human beings. So, he represents all these things and he has lived in that way and every part of his life off the field also very clearly indicates all these larger than life predilections that he has. So, if you live that way, this is what you will get. Adulation, millions of people loving you, respecting you and awards chasing you like uh, bumblebees chasing a beautiful flower to suck the nectar. Instead of uh, the flowers going in search of bees, the bees will come to you, the awards will come chasing, recognition and accolades will beat a path to your door. 
if you live like this this is what you'll get it completely negates the short term political exploitative subverting kind of lifestyle that most of our pseudo leaders have led over the last 60 70 years not one of them is a leader not one of them is a role model because they spend their whole lifetime exploiting subverting manipulating nicola machiavelli would be proud of them because they have been such manipulative influences on this nation all these pseudo leaders who occupy positions of authority people who occupy positions of authority are not necessarily leaders india unfortunately has had manipulators exploiters uh, people who um, subvert every possible law and ways of ethical conduct and have come to occupy positions of authority uh, but having reached the top they have developed no other skills because they have spent a lifetime manipulating exploiting lying cheating subverting etc so their core competence is all these areas all these toxic areas so having arrived at a position of authority they have no other skills or mindsets at all because this is what they have trained in and so when they are sitting in this position of authority that's the only way they'll lead their organizations so is it any wonder that india today is a cesspool of corruption incompetence and um, all manner of toxicity and not just environmental toxicity and we have been told and we have been brought up on a diet by so called role models who have clay feet that in today's world you got to do all these things you got to have people to recommend you you got to have people who can subvert the system who will bribe lie cheat etc to get their ways done to succeed this is how we have been brought up and so we have created generations of indians who have believed that way who have, who have been brought up on on these beliefs and who therefore have gone out and done exactly that but sachin tendulkar in his 24 years wearing india colors has demonstrated the exact opposite of what all of us have been you know taught directly and indirectly about what it takes to succeed in india in one stroke the stroke of this magnificent life on the cricket field wearing india colors sachin tendulkar has demonstrated the validity of these eternal principles chasing excellence being straightforward humble etc etc and look what recognition uh, he's obtained now that is the lesson really that sachin tendulkar has really taught all of us not that he set out to teach anybody any lessons but merely by being himself and adhering to all these timeless principles he has demonstrated what the real payoff is and that's what life is all about i think and th- that is a kind of illuminating path that has been shown quietly without making a fuss without tom toming his achievements is what he's done and that's a lesson for us to learn and all of us need to internalize that